Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. Um, April 4th, uh, Friday, was National Deep Dish Pizza Day. Now, I had purchased a deep dish pizza, pizza pan <laughs> months ago. I can't even tell you how long ago at Aldi. And I've never used it. So I decided to try and make my first deep dish pizza. Also, fair warning about this video, when I was making the pizza, my house was just chaos. So I have taken out all of the volume from when it, the actual footage and I'm just gonna be doing a voiceover of the steps of making the pizza because nobody wants to hear what was actually happening in this house at that time. First step is making the homemade dough. Um, I had to do it first thing in the morning because it took six hours for it to rise. So here I am just getting the yeast to bloom. So I'm adding the right temperature of water. I add it into the bowl with the yeast and a tiny bit of sugar. Um, I give it about 15 minutes or so. And then once I see that it is blooming, so it gets all like, like bubbly looking, I will then start adding in all the flour, um, and any other ingredients that the recipe calls for. One thing with the recipe is that I added in all the flour and then it tells me to add in half a cup of oil, which you see me doing here, but then it made it super wet. So I I then had to add in a bunch more flour for me to be able to get the right consistency. So it did make the dough a little bit more dense than I would have wanted, but next time I know to only add a tiny bit of the oil or even none at all. So the little guy did help me out for a little bit there before he went outside to play. Once the dough formed a ball in the mixer, I took some oil and I coated the large mixing bowl that I had with the oil. So that way when the dough rises, it's not gonna stick to the edges. Then I dumped in the dough and let it rest for six hours on the counter. Okay, it's been six hours, so I punched down the dough and then I dig out of my cabinet the pizza pan that I have never used. And then I take some butter and I coat it all around the bottom and the edges. Um, as the instructions had mentioned to do. And then I take the dough out and I'm working to shape it into the pan as well as up the sides of the pan. So it did spread very well, but um, as you can see a little bit here, it does go back down after not messing with it for a little bit. But I grabbed the sliced mozzarella cheese and I layered it on the bottom. I actually did a double layer because who doesn't like extra cheese? And then I wanted to add in sausage, so I took Italian sausages, I cut off the casing, and then I just crumbled it in the pan. The best part of this pizza was the fact that I did not have to cook the sausage beforehand. It all cooked at the same time in the oven. Once the sausage was added, I opened up a can of whole peeled tomatoes and the instructions just said to grab a couple handfuls of them, smush them up in your hands, and then put them in the pan. Um, that's pretty much all I did for the tomatoes. And then something I did not get a video of is adding the Parmesan cheese on top before the oven. I did preheat my oven to 450 degrees and the cook time was anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes. So this is in the middle of it cooking. It looked and smelled so good. Okay, pizza is out of the oven. Um, it did mention just to kind of take it out of the pan, which was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I was able to just lift it up and put it right on the counter. So I then um, just cut different slices, got one for the three different boys, and then got a slice for myself. But it did need a little bit more cooling because you will see here as I start to pull pieces away that the topping did start to kind of like ooze off a little bit, but it didn't go much further than what you see. Um, it actually held up better than I thought it was going to. So the boys loved it. That piece was for Mark. We have one for Jackson and then James. And then I will hold up my piece here just to show kind of what it looked like. So it was super good. You can see the cheese. And in the background here, you can actually see the cheese pull 
from my oldest eating his pizza. Next time I make it, I would still 10 out of 10 do a double layer of cheese just because it was so good that way. Here's that cheese pull <laughs> to the fact that he actually asked me to help him like break it off because he didn't know <laughs> what else to do. But here I'm trying my piece and it was delicious. It was so yummy, um, extra cheesy. The sausage was great. I would definitely recommend this recipe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. The pizza turned out amazing. Um, it is hard to warm back up just because everything like spills off once it gets warm enough, but it was delicious like when it was home, uh, freshly made. So if you like the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the family, click that subscribe button as well. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.